so many of my friends did, including many, many neighbors. We were the only parents that made it to that game. And of course the boosters, and we sat with the boosters who had come down on the plane and who returned on the plane. Mr. Schubert, who came to all of them, he was absolutely devastated because he didn't come to that last game. It was a close game, it was hard fought, and uh, you know, we made a good effort. We just didn't get the job done. The last time I saw um, uh, the, uh, any of the coaches or the players uh, and, and the boosters was um, outside the dressing room after the game. I drove a uh, university wagon down to the game and I was trying to recruit a big linebacker in Ferrum Junior College. And so we were getting in the wagon and um, we were uh, going to head up towards Ferrum and, and uh, they were going to go back to Huntington. raining. Uh, it rained about all day, I think. Uh, but I remember that evening that it was raining because, you know, we'd listened to the game on the radio. And we were actually upstairs in the lounge shooting pool. It was just a normal night. We had guys coming in from games they had covered. We had other people covering the normal stuff. Different shifts. I went out to dinner. I was at a Keith Albert Theater. Why I even went, I don't even think I was interested in the movie. But we was going to go back down to the stadium and wait on the team to come in. That was our plan. Larry Sanders had given me $3 and told me, have me a six-pack of Coke 45 ready when I get back. So I had gone over, picked up the six-pack of beer, and was headed back to campus. said, Jack, there's been a plane crash out here. I can see it out my kitchen window. It's got to be a big plane, a commercial plane. So I left the house here out toward the site. We went down a hill and up another one and down another one. You know, brushing away, trying to make a path to get through. And you think to yourself, my gosh, Jack, what this is, what, this is a dream. This didn't happen. I stepped over and boosted myself on what I thought was a tree stump, but it wasn't. 